cars are becoming safer than ever, but in a crash, women are far more likely to suffer serious injuries than men. In this edition of This Week in Science, Dan Riskin joins us to explain why crash test dummies are an example of design that forgets about women and puts lives at risk. Dan, thank you for being here. Uh, this, this, uh, this was a head scratcher, this is a head shaker. Um, a new study from researchers at the University of Virginia found that the odds of a female sustaining a serious fatal injury in a collision, 73% higher yeah. than men. Experts say a major reason is because tests are conducted almost exclusively on crash test dummies that are modeled after men. It's 2019, man. Uh, yeah, listen, you're preaching to the choir. I hear you. So it's funny, this study wasn't even really set up to, to get at this question. In fact, I read this paper top to bottom, and there's like two or three sentences about the fact that this, this thing about gender jumps out like it does. But uh, yeah, so overall, they were, you know, they were showing that because crash tests are done and because these standards are in place, the safety of cars is improving, right? Mm. The, the odds yeah. of being in a, in a critical or worse injury has gone down 31% if your car is a 2009 or later compared to a 2008 or earlier. Those are great statistics, great on, statistics. on the surface. Everybody likes it when cars get safer, but yeah. this thing that comes out is that it's not safe for women. So crash test dummies, the history of it is that they, they started by saying, well, let's just get the average person. And of course it was the 70s, so they were like, man. man. Yeah. 70s. And uh, not only was it average man, it was fit man, which as yeah. we know is not even yeah. average, right? That's like just a wishful sure. thinking. So the crash test dummy that is used by default is this fit man who has a certain weight distribution and cars are, you know, whether they pass or fail their crash test depends on what happens to that particular shape of crash test dummy. Gotcha. So if you have a different shaped person riding with the seatbelt here and all this stuff, or and we've done it, we've done enough stories on this show about obesity rates in North America sure. to know that that guy is not necessarily indicative. That test dummy is not indicative exactly. of the person who's going to drive the car. Yes, and for example, they found that uh, the elderly, right? So the seatbelt yeah. that that if you get in an accident, God forbid, but if you got an accident, the seatbelt might hold your chest, and that might be a really good way to restrain you. But if, for an elderly person, that can break ribs, yeah. and so. Different people have different bodies. And you know, it brings up this great, this parable. In the US Air Force in the 1950s wanted to make their suits for the average soldier. And so they took 4,000 soldiers and they measured like 120 different things on them. And they said, okay, here is the range of values for how high the nipple is above the ground, yeah. for example, all these things. And they were all men, of course, because it was the 50s. And they said, okay, now let's find the person that is a perfect example of the average, that just is within the middle 30% okay. for all those different measurements, didn't exist. Average doesn't exist. Yeah. It's not a real thing. So here we have, it's even worse because you can't just take the average of males and females and treat it like one dummy yeah. that's gonna be ridiculous. Okay, but I, I, I gotta ask, why, like, is it cost prohibitive to build a new crash test dummy? They are expensive. They do cost a lot of money because yeah. they're not just mannequins that you would get you no, know, like, off the that. shelf. They've got sensors and they, they bend the right way and they have their mass distribution just right. And so it's expensive to make a whole bunch of different okay. ones, but the rules are set up in such a way that you can get away with using male mannequins for everything and not use the female ones that they do sell. Okay, we only have a few seconds left, but is, a, is the pressure gonna mount on car companies because of the news that they're getting out of this? These are shocking numbers. Well, if, is the pressure gonna mount for them to change their tactics and start using female crash test dummies? One would hope if they changed the rules, if it wasn't just the car companies, but if the rules were changed so they had to do female crash test dummies, it would improve. You mentioned 73% for critical, but if you include moderate injuries, if you're a woman, the odds that you're going to be in a moderate, have moderate injuries are 140% higher than men. So I, I, it's a mess. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm gobsmacked that these are the numbers that we're talking about. Look, if it was in the margin of error, I would understand. But there, yeah. there's clearly a problem, and the solution is kind of self-evident. Yeah. So let's do it, world. Let's Fix do it. it. Let's, <laughs> come on, Prime Minister Trudeau, get on this. Thanks for watching. If you like this, be sure to subscribe here. And you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.